Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a ton of big stories for you, starting with leaked Z690 motherboards, AMD's crypto mining card, good news on Windows 11, but also Ryzen and Windows 11 is even worse than we thought, and Nvidia's halting production of RTX 3000 cards to keep inflated prices? Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, it looks like Intel's upcoming Z690 motherboards are beginning to leak. We're talking the box, final look, design, all of that good stuff, which pretty much proves that Intel's 12th gen CPUs are right around the corner. Don't forget that rumors point to a announcement date of October 27th with a release on November 4th. And of course, with that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can find out all that information when it is announced. Anyway, as you can see, this is the Zeus ROG Strix Z690i Mini ITX Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard. Man, these names are getting long. Either way, when we go down here, it is pretty beefy and thick, but right off the bat, we get a nice look at the socket, and it's pretty much exactly what was leaked. Not only that, but it does come with, I believe, two M.2 slots, and you can see down here, LGA 1700, PCI Express 5.0, and DDR5. So it actually comes with all of the next-gen tech, and what's interesting is that it's not the only board that leaked. Next, we have the Aorus Z690 Master, once again, DDR5 and PCI Express Gen 5. Fairly normal design, more or less what we would expect from the Z690 Master. Either way, it is interesting to see these and, of course, get absolute verification, though I think Intel has effectively said it comes with DDR5 and PCI Express Gen 5 as well, but if they hadn't, this is obviously 100% proof. But first, make sure to check out Newegg's Gametober event that's going on right now with deals up to 55% off. For those who can't find a GPU, AMD's 5700G is currently 40 bucks off with the code, so you actually get a GPU and CPU. And besides all the deals, they're offering Black Friday protection on certain items, so if something is cheaper on Black Friday, you'll get a refund. So yeah, make sure to check that out with the affiliate link in the description below. I'll also have some other suggestions. It doesn't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. And next up for today, yet another AMD mining GPU has leaked. This time, unlike the other one, uh, it was actually a Navi 22 GPU, but this time it's Navi 12. And I will say that that's actually not terrible news, just because as of right now, the only Navi 12 GPU is actually an Apple exclusive. You can see right here, the Apple exclusive Radeon Pro 5600M. Regardless, it is pretty frustrating, of course, to see this, but they are likely taking ones that effectively couldn't be 5600M GPUs and throwing them in mining cards. Though that also begs the question, if they could sell the regular 5600M for more than they sell it to Apple, Will they just take regular 5600Ms and sell them straight to miners? Very plausible, or at least the GPU that makes up a 5600M and is perfectly fine would be able to go in it and then just sell it to miners. That is absolutely a possibility. Either way, it gets 72 mega hashes per second in Ethereum, but of course this isn't a mining channel or anything like that, so not really all that interested there. With that said, there is some good news before we get to some bad news. It looks like, at least according to PC Gamer, we can see, well, really quickly, a little bit of backstory. I actually covered this when it first came out. If you don't remember, it says right here, Microsoft is currently warning users with older hardware that isn't officially supported, i.e. Intel 7th gen or 1st gen Ryzen. They basically said, okay, these things that aren't supported, you are not entitled to receive updates. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you won't, but it pretty well says you probably won't. Well, apparently they have. Windows 11's first update is being rolled out to unsupported PCs. Of course, with that said, I still really would not suggest upgrading just because at any time they may not send out updates. They've given the warning, it still could happen. But of course, this leads me to the bad news. 
Tom's Hardware actually did a really nice, fairly extensive testing of AMD's cache latency between Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you haven't been following the channel, you know that AMD announced that there's a bug on Windows 11 that effectively hurts cache latency by up to three times, and it was made worse by the Windows 11 update. Most recently, we saw some tests with the 2700X from Tech Power Up, and it showed up to three times, which I believe is actually around what AMD had said, but the fact that it had gotten significantly worse from the original Windows 11 release to the update was pretty wild, but it's apparently even worse than that. As you can see right here, Tom's hardware actually saw cache latency up to six times slower in Windows 11. And really quickly, we can actually go through some of their gaming benchmarks. They did see a little bit of a drop off though, Really not too much just because they used an RTX 3090 and did it at 1080p resolution to completely remove the GPU bottleneck. So this really shows more or less the, the most wild difference that you're going to see. So if you have a lower end GPU or you're playing at higher resolutions, the difference is going to be even smaller. Still, there is a small difference and they actually go over it right here. The 5900X was worse than the 5800X, and Project Cars 3 was the worst of the bunch, losing 7.3%. Oddly enough, Shadow of the Tomb Raider gained 4.8%, which is fairly wild. Dota 2 lost 2.9%, Strange Brigade lost 2%, Red Dead Redemption gained 2.9%, Far Cry 5 dropped 3.9%. So nothing huge, but then again, depending on the application you're in, it could see worse or better performance. And moving down, overall with this cache latency, it still showed around three times. We can see 5900X, 10.54 nanoseconds to 29.23. 10.72 to 30, the worst being the 3800X at 9.58 to 35.34, but um, they showed it right here that the six times increase uh, is from the 3800X in some of their more in-depth tests. And I'll actually say that the L3 bandwidth difference can be up to 12 times higher in Windows 10. So really wild numbers. I'll show you one last graph that they did. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is right here. We can see it is fairly odd because the 5800X did better as far as loss of performance versus the 5900X. Yet, look at this with the Infinity Fabric bandwidth. We can see that the red being Windows 11, it drops off significantly. Well, in Windows 11, yet in Windows 10, it does not. Yet, the 5900X doesn't see the same thing. So, fairly odd, but... AMD should be sending out a patch to this in, I uh, think in like a week or so. It should be this month. They actually announced the dates and I did go over that really soon. But because that Windows 11 update actually made it significantly worse, I would make sure to keep an eye out on this in future updates. And lastly for today, I will say we have a pretty wild accusation here, but this apparently comes from multiple sources. This story is coming from Moore's Law is Dead. And at least according to them, it looks like NVIDIA could be halting and peer production in the future to actually keep prices high. Now, I'm going to really quickly go over. They list their different sources here. And the reasoning for this supposedly is that NVIDIA believes that they've produced enough cards uh, by the end of October that they will produce by the end of October to fulfill their Q4 obligations and as well as hit their earnings goals. So basically NVIDIA has been ramping up production with Samsung just like they said and they've been selling everything as it's coming in but I guess because of this ramp up they now see themselves having enough for the Q4 shipments that they are obligated to do and as well as hit their earnings target. So because of that, once again, according to this, they are planning to halt production temporarily by November. As you can see right here, it says to be clear, it's either that they're planning to temporarily halt production or maybe hoard. Either way, there won't be as many cards going out if this is correct. And the reasoning for this apparently 
is to find a way to keep when they launch their super cards to keep the price as high as possible for next year. So if they continue with this ramp up, continuing to produce tons and tons of cards, supply could actually catch up to demand, but they're wanting to hold out on that. So super cards can still be priced super high. And allegedly he had mentioned in the video about MSRP and things like that, they can more or less release the cards with an even higher MSRP. At least that's what it sounds like. And you can see here, now this is just one source. They did speak to other sources before coming to this conclusion and stating this is what's gonna happen. Source 2, NVIDIA is reducing shipments on purpose this holiday season to keep the street prices high. Source 3, NVIDIA has directed us to expect fewer Ampere. So this is just saying you're probably going to see fewer cards, but they did say it is abnormal than another with no explanation offered. NVIDIA said it will be producing or providing us less cards in Q4 compared to Q3. Then they said that they can confirm on Source 5 that shipments will be lower for Q4 from NVIDIA and that this was an intentional decision. All I can say is that I really hope this is not true, but if it is, I mean, that's absurd, obviously. It's absolutely ridiculous to do something like this. Um, if come to find out this is definitively true, that really seems, at least to me, I'm obviously not a lawyer, but that definitely seems like market manipulation really bad stuff. Hopefully it isn't true, but if so, I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, obviously it isn't good. Obviously this is absolutely ridiculous with the fact that over a year now, basically no gamers have been able to buy GPUs and they're just going to hold things back just to keep the prices higher. Absolutely absurd, but I don't know. That pretty much wraps up today's video. I'm really upset about this. If this ends up being true, it just pisses me off. So that's really all I can say. If this is true, absolutely absurd, absolutely pissed. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just so frustrated about the whole graphics card thing for the last year anyway. A lot of people aren't interested in even talking about them. And you know what? I fully understand. I get it. I wouldn't want to talk about future GPUs either because who cares if I can't even buy one? Even if I have the money, I can't even buy it. Although technically you can buy it at absurd markups. Anyway, that does it. Sorry for all the rambling. Just pretty aggravated in this one, like I said. Either way, if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and as always, have a great day.